Good morning, my name is Chiranji Patnai, guest faculty in Bose Katak. In today's session, we will see uh, about additive manufacturing process. As we covered uh, in the previous class about CNC and its advantages and disadvantages. In today's class, we will see what is the distance gives between the CNC and additive manufacturing. So, as you know that in the previous class, we uh, already uh, mean see that ki in CNC what will happen, we have to subtract material from the workpiece. And in case of additive manufacturing, what we will do, we will uh, first uh, create a CAD model after that, after planning the uh, CAD model, we have to uh, change it into uh, a STL file format, dot STL file format. After that, we have to send it to the 3D printing machine and after that whatever uh, STL format has been created according to that the 3D model has been um, created on the final product we will get. So as you know that in this first diagram you see, uh, see that in CNC we have to take a material and after that we have to write some types of codes in the CNC machines and according to that what will happen the axis will rotate and uh, we will get the desired shape or desired 3D object we will get and also with this we will get some waste material. In case of what, uh, in case of uh, additive manufacturing we have to take the material and we have to decide uh, the STL file format or the CAD model, 3D model and uh, convert it to into dot STL file format. After that we will send that file format to this uh, 3D printing machine and after that we will get the, our 3D uh, object or 3D model and uh, in this case the waste material will be reduced. In the next diagram you can see easily here in CNC machining what we will do, we will do a machining part and in additive manufacturing the, uh, the object will be created from the bottom to the top layer by layer. You can see here clearly that the object has been created layer by layer. Uh, and the final product has been generated. So, as we know that in CNC machining, what we will do, we will do, uh, we will write some types of G code and M code and we will get the final product. And whereas in the case of additive manufacturing, what we will do, we will uh, uh, create a uh, CAD model, after that we will uh, convert it to dot STL file format and finally we will get the 3D object or 3D model. Now, what is the difference between the CNC and additive manufacturing? What, uh, what exactly the condition uh, that in uh, whenever if, if you uh, create a 3D model in CNC what will happen uh, that object will not directly uh, we can cannot get the direct uh, the object directly okay we have to change settings one to two uh, two types of settings and after that we will get the final object but in case of additive manufacturing what we will do we will uh, select a CAD model and the total um, CAD model has been created layer by layer. We have to do, don't change the setting means we have to don't have to take one to two or three settings in additive manufacturing. It will create it directly and we will get the 3D object. Okay, so that is the main difference between this uh, additive manufacturing and CNC machine. What is the difference? The first difference is the object gets subtracted in CNC machine and in additive man manufacturing what will uh, do the object will be created layer by layer and the first uh, object will be created from the bottom and it will go to up to the top okay and we will get the final object next what are the parameters difference between this additive machining and cnc machining so as you know that in the, uh, in material section the am included development poly material, waxes and paper laminate. So, we will generally use polymer, polymeric uh, material or we can say that plastic material, waxes and paper laminates as a raw material in additive machining. Whereas in CNC, CNC used for machining soft materials or medium density fiber boards, uh, machining, machinable waxes etc. As you uh, know that we will uh, use aluminum, HSS that will, that will be the material we are using in CNC. Whereas in the coming to the speed section, higher takes, it will higher take few hours to make the part. Okay, so in additive manufacturing, it will take some time, amount of time to complete the required task. Whereas in CNC machining, it will be lower and takes week to develop the same part. Means if you compare it with the 3D model, uh, the 3D model will be achieved 
easily in additive manufacturing because we have to only create a CAD model and after that we will get the final object. But whenever you come to the CNC machine, so what will happen? We have to achieve that in part by part manner. Means first object is created, again we have to turn the uh, object, again the second object will be created, again we have to turn the object, we, we will uh, create the third object. So, we have to uh, take certain type of steps to complete an uh, object in CNC machine. Now come to complexity. Uh, we know that in additive manufacturing what will happen? Complex profile can be easily done in additive manufacturing and uh, whereas in CNC machine it will be easy operation. Whatever we will do it will be up to easy operations. Now, in efficiency as you know that in additive manufacturing it will be higher as compared to CNC machining it will be lower. So, higher efficiency will be generated in additive manufacturing machines and uh, lower efficiency will be generated in CNC machining. Now, in where is come to accuracy in additive machining is more accurate than CNC machines and whereas the CNC machines are comparatively less accurate. Now come to programming, as you know that in programming what we will do, we will uh, create a CAD model, after that that CAD model we have to convert it to .stl file format and after that we have to send it to the 3D printing machine and the final object will be created after that. Whereas in compared to the CNC machine, we have to first uh, see the model, 3D model and after that we have to uh, divide it into section. And after that we have to create a, a G code and M code programming pattern for CNC machine and after that we will get the final object in CNC machining. Now last will be uh, process, it, it is the additive process and it is the subtractive process. So this is very very important point as you know that in additive manufacturing we will add material layer by layer in a layer by layer formation and it will be start from the bottom to the top. Whereas, uh, in the CNC machining what will be done? It will be in subtractive process means whatever material we will uh, um, go and clamp in the machine, it will uh, it will obviously what will uh, happen? It will subtract from that material okay by the according to by the help of the G code or M code. Now, this is the whole setup of CNC simulator. As you know that in this uh, simulator, uh, whenever you go to a CNC machine, the exactly you will uh, find the same uh, CNC simulator in the machines where uh, there is a, some types of buttons are there. By the help of these buttons or the, by the help of this panel board, you can easily write the program and there are some um, types of soft keys. By the help of that soft keys, you can uh, means uh, move forward and backward and after that there are certain types of regulators are there to change the mode and to uh, change the uh, speed override. So, this is the whole pattern of the CNC simulator whenever you go to a CNC milling machine or CNC turning machine you will uh, find the exactly the same panel board in the machine. Now, this is the uh, CNC part as you know that uh, this is achieved by the CNC machine, this is a certain type of dimension is given and the same dimension has been achieved by this uh, material, in this material. Now, we will now cover what is rapid prototype and before that we will uh, see what is prototype. Okay. So, a prototype is the first or original example of something that has been or will be copied or developed it is a model of preliminary version ok. So, an ap approximation of product or it is a component some form of definite purpose in its implementation. So, exactly what is the meaning of rapid means? Rapid means you have to do something in fast manner ok. So, rapid prototype or rapid prototyping is a relatively new term and it is the simplest form the process of creating prototypes quickly to visually and functionally evaluate the engineering product design. Well, whatever you are designing, you have to test that. Okay. So, for testing that, you can usually, uh, usually use this prototype for testing. Okay. So, rapid prototype will be the first manner to uh, finally achieve the product. Now, this is the example of the prototype. As you see in this image, a prototype has been created. Now, uh, a simple CAD model is also termed as a prototype because the CAD model will represent the system and it will show how the system will look and also it will give some properties like 
mass, volume, etc. of the product itself. Now the prototype can be a physical model. So this is the one type of prototype you can see easily in this diagram. Now there are certain types of prototypes are there now. This is the first prototype and the, it is made off of cardboard. Second prototype is there that is made off of laser cut plywood and third uh, prototype is there 3D printed PLA and fourth prototype is this that is made by CNC milled aluminium. So what is the difference between that is uh, written as low fidelity and high fidelity means whenever uh, we see in the cardboard it is only used for dimension purpose okay and after that just medium uh, laser cut plywood is for medium fidelity means it will look like for uh, exactly not the same but uh, it will be similar to the prototype now, now the third one is the 3d printed PLA that is also high fidelity means exactly the same as the prototype looks like and the last one is the CNC milled aluminium this is perfectly the pro uh, perfectly prototype as the prototype looks like it will perfectly look that one so as you know that in the definition it is written that low fidelity for uh, prototype very simple and produced very quickly to test the broader concept paper sketch to cardboard mock-up means this is for dimensional purpose this cannot be used in any way okay and last one is high fidelity prototype means this prototype appear and functions as similar and closer to the final product so whatever final product you are just producing that exactly the final product final fidelity product will look like that will be made by CNC milled aluminium now in this uh, you can see uh, that uh, whenever we manufacture a car okay after that we have to just uh, check whether it will be uh, accident means whenever it will cause any accident it will register or not so uh, we have to test we have to do certain type of prototype okay so uh, as you know here it is written that why we use prototype we use prototype for testing of the product before mass production so prototype can be used to test any product here we can see that car model is tested for crash test so this prototype will test that the structure of car is strong enough to have the strength of being an accident so for this uh, prototype we have to create a prototype to check or to, for for the checking of the crash test okay whether it is resist or not now the exactly the same uh, prototype we can usually now the same purpose of achieve with the CAD model we can easily do this uh, crash test in the CAD model by the help of the simulation so uh, with the help of the simulation now it is written that now the same purpose can be achieved with the CAD model simulation also so this also a prototype but the, here we are not building any physical pro prototype we are not creating any physical pro pro prototype here we are just creating a CAD model and checking that it will resist or not by uh, causing any accident whenever it will cause any accident okay now what is rapid prototyping rapid means with speed in less time whatever you will do it will uh, do in a speed manner and with less time consuming now rapid uh, prototyping means prototyping in less time whatever you will design it will be created in very very less amount of time so you can see here in this image we are uh, doing any type of uh, we are taking any type of liquid and the prototype has been created layer by layer means from the bottom it will create it to the top according to the CAD model okay now why prototype is cost effective means uh, obviously whatever you will uh, made it will be uh, very much faster manner and it will be required in market very much okay so we have to make it fast to make it cost effective now uh, next point is there is competition okay uh, whenever means whatever company will be created any prototype they will uh, make it faster and uh, make a place in the market okay so they want uh, that the product the prototype is perfect enough and uh, it will be correct enough to register in the market and with the less time now last point is time pressure means we have a time limit also to complete that product or to complete that prototype 
now evolution of prototype now first uh, evolution yeah manual prototyping from many centuries like natural prototyping techniques now second is your soft or virtual prototyping that will be, has been generated in mid 1970 with increased complexity now last one is rapid prototyping that was been invented in mid 1980 relies on CAD modeling means whatever we design the model according to that the prototype will generate or prototype will be created. Now uh, traditional versus rapid prototyping as you compare the both uh, traditional and rapid prototyping what will happen in traditional prototyping it will take more time. Whereas in rapid prototyping it will less time as you know that we have to just see that uh, to register in market it will be cost effective time pressure will be there. So company will uh, do that prototype in a less time and do it faster. So uh, what they follow they will follow rapid prototyping which will be uh, converted in less time. Then uh, it will be tra in traditional prototyping what will it will be costly cost effective and in rapid prototyping also it will take less cost. Then uh, last uh, third point is low fidelity and high fidelity means as you know that in this image we have already seen that whatever this is the, the whatever this is the cardboard this is a, of low fidelity means it is only used for dimensioning purpose and high fidelity means we, we can use that prototype in anywhere. So that is the meaning of the low fidelity and high fidelity. When, when the whenever we made a prototype exactly look like that then that will be comes under high fidelity and whenever the prototype is only meant for dimensioning purpose then we can use this cardboard or any type of property that will be come under low fidelity. Now there is high skill required and in rapid prototyping based on CAD model automatic means uh, whatever traditional prototyping you have to use you have to require a high skilled operator that will know the programming part but in case of rapid prototyping we are using a CAD model we have to only design the part and after that we can send it to the rapid prototyping machine and that machine will be converted into STL format and we'll, we'll get, we will get the final 3D model okay and that will be this process will be automatic process. Now this is the traditional prototyping this is only used for the dimensioning purposes as you uh, thermocol paper it is used as a thermocol paper it is only used for dimensioning part that is of low fidelity. Now there are uh, exactly uh, from uh, low fidelity to high fidelity means this exactly is for dimensioning purpose that is medium this is uh, medium for the medium and last one is the high fidelity means exactly the prototype will look like that whatever you design the exact uh, dimension or exact uh, prototype we will get this by this high fidelity options. Now prototyping versus manufacturing prototyping is for checking and examining a new product as you know that you can uh, previously see that in the crash test we have used a prototype we have uh, used a CAD model for checking the crash test. So prototype is used for only for checking and examining a new product. Now second point is it is a part of product development manufacturing is make, making the actual product that will be used by consumer ok. So whatever uh, demands will be from the company to make the product we have to make that pro product only. So it is the part of production system. So it is the manufacturing is the part of production system.
Now come to rapid manufacturing. Manufacturing techniques that are most faster than conventional manufacturing techniques. So we know that in rapid manufacturing, what will be that it will uh, whatever object you will create it, it will done in a fast manner or a rapid manner. Okay. Now classification of rapid manufacturing process. So in uh, a rapid manufacturing process, there are three process we will follow. First one is additive process. Second one is subtractive process and third one is formative process. Now in additive process, there are three types of additive process, 3D printing, SLA means stereolithography and last one is SLS, selective laser centering. As you see in this image, what will happen? You will create a CAD model. Okay. After that CAD model, whenever we send to the 3D printing machine, what we, it will do? It will uh, do uh, from bottom to layer, bo bottom to top, layer by layer formation, bottom to top, layer by layer form formation until we get our final product. Okay. Now come to subtractive manufacturing. In subtractive manufacturing, there are also three types that is CNC machining, CNC laser cutting and WJM and AWJM. Okay, so as you know that this is the material and this is the tool, whatever uh, types of G code and M code you are right in the machine according to that the axis will move and according to that operation will be created and we will get our final object. Now formatting manufacturing and formative manufacturing, there will be a, a die casting and injection molding means this is the injection molding we have to inject the material into there will be a female part and the male part we have to uh, just take it out the final product whenever it will be created the, we have to inject by this nozzle and the final product will be just removed it by the by this format okay now in, uh, in this example also you can see that we are using any uh, type of hooper there we have to add the material this is uh, we have to add the hot material or hot plastic and this will go in this chamber and finally it will inject into this female part and after that when it will be solidify and we will get the final product after the solidification has been done. Now there is a generic RP process as you know that whenever we will follow a rapid prototyping process there are certain types of process we have to follow. The first one is conceptualization of CAD means we have to think the model which you have to be created we have which model have you have to create you have to think about that model okay after the uh, model has been created you have to convert that model into dot stl file format stereo uh, stereo lithography you have to convert it to that format after that transform and manipulation of stl file on am machine so you have to just transfer that stl file format to the additive manufacturing machines then you have to do machine setup you have to check that the material has been added to the machine or not and uh, you have to check uh, whether proper uh, or proper material has been sufficient material has been there in the machine or not you have to check by the help of this machine setup after that what will uh, do the, after that the whole process has been completed the material has been added we have to just uh, on the button and after that the build process will be start and after that we have to just uh, part removal and clean up whatever support after the product has been created we have to remove the plat part removal which support we have given that support we have to remove from this uh, uh, final product after that uh, post processing of part and finally we will do the applications. So whenever the build product has been done we have to just clean up uh, or do the surface finishing or we ca can remove whatever support we have given in the material we can remove that material and finally we will do the application part. Now in this uh, image you can clearly see that we have uh, conceptualized a CAD model and after that uh, we just converted this CAD model into .stl file format that uh, you can see that uh, stl file format is in triangulation form after that we have just sent it to the machine that it will be created in some type of tool path file means in which direction the machining operation will be executed 
Now, after that a tooth pile file has been generated, we will send to the 3D printing machine and finally, we will grade our uh, means get our final printed object, what uh, will be the final object we will get. Now, see in this we have whenever you uh, do any type of uh, 3D printing, you have to just conscious life, conscious, uh, means think about the CAD model and you have to just design that CAD model. Now, after that you have to convert it to dot stl file format this this is the dot stl file format and it will be created layer by layer file format the whole format has been created by layer by layer formation as you see in this image clearly okay now the next step is transform and manipulation of stl file on a machine machine setup and finally the build product has been done when exactly whenever we send to the stl file format to the 3d printing machine what will we do we have to do the machine setup we have to check whether the machine have sufficient amount of material or not and uh, it will be inset properly or not we have to check all the machine setups after that we have to on the button and the final product has been created then <clears throat> part removal or processing any type of removal you want to do any type of uh, build uh, system you have provided in the material 3d object you can remove that and finally this is the application we have to test whether our product has been created successfully or not so by the help of this application format we can check our um, our model which has been created or not properly now distinguish between the rp and cnc so uh, what is the difference between the rapid prototyping and cnc material speed cnc process is faster in removing material than rp is adding as you know that in rapid prototyping uh, is used for adding material and cnc process is used for subtracting material cnc require more setup time so it will require more setup time why it require more setup time uh, whenever if you uh, get any 3d model to be created in CNC machine, it will not create it directly, it will create it in step by step manner. Okay, if first object is been created, after that you have to just rotate the object and do the second setting, third setting. So, it will be achieved in two to three steps. Where, whereas in uh, rapid prototyping, it will be directly we can achieve the final product. Now, RP is more preferable for high complexity product means whenever there will be a sharp contour which cannot be achieved by this CNC machine that could be achieved by this RP uh, means rapid prototyping can be achieved that uh, sharp contours. Now, CNC can produce more accurate as compared to RP ok. So, in dimensioning uh, differentiate uh, CNC can achieve more accuracy than RP. Now, CNC is faster for simple parts while RP can produce complex assembly in one step without any additional setup. So, we have do not have to do any additional setup as required in CNC machine. We can directly conscious con means we have to directly think about the CAD model and after that we will get our final product. Now, CNC programming involves selection of many parameters while RP requires less complex process for parameter selection. As you know that in CNC machine whenever we write a program, we have to think about spindle speed, we have to uh, set uh, uh, feed rate, okay, plunge field, cutting field, we have to uh, uh, decide certain parameters which will be required in CNC machines. But when compared to rapid prototyping, there will be uh, less requirement of these parameters which will be not required because it will be automatic process. Whenever we created a CAD model, it will directly uh, turn into the dot .stl file format and we will get our final product. Now, classifications of RP system. Now, we will classify RP system into three parts. The first part will be liquid based, third, second part is solid based and the third part is powder based. Now, this is the <coughs> first example of SLA. In this, we can easily, you can see that 
uh, here we have to use any type of laser uh, after that laser has been created here and we will get this panel board has been uh, down it will go down and we will get our final object you can see here the build 3d model from liquid photosensitive polymer when exposed to uv rays okay so we will uh, use here ultraviolet rays here the model is built open a platform situated just below the surface of the liquid here you can see the surface uh, this is the liquid we are using in this image and just the surface of the li uh, liquid okay and we will uh, use some type of resign here so as a liquid we have to uh, use some type of resign here now a low power highly focused uv laser traces out the first layer solidifying the model cross section so here you can see this is the laser from this uh, the laser has been generated and uh, where it will directly go and place we will get our final product now an elevator incrementally lower the platform into the liquid polymer process is repeated until our prototype is complete now the last one is model is placed in uv oven for complete curing so this total uh, setup is created by the lasers okay so after the whole process is completed we will get our final prototype Now this is a laser centering okay so you can see here where we, we will be using laser centering mach um, machine how it will be executed this is the final product we will get by the this laser centering machine now this you can see the laser has been created it will go down the temperature is stays a laser redeem the powder then powder is saved and what, whatever means which location we have to uh, cut the uh, shape we will get the final object okay now see how we will get the final object So we have just uh, recently seen that uh, stereolithography. Now uh, in this uh, process, we have just seen how the laser centering work. So use of high powder lasers and powder material. As you know that in the example, we have uses a power laser and power material. A wide variety of material can be used, uh, ranging from thermoplastic polymer such as nylon and polystyrene to some metals. So we will use some type of variety of materials just as thermoplastic and polymers now third point is three parts are produced by fusing thin slice means whatever when the laser is created we will uh, cut a thin slice of powder material onto the layer below it the surface of sls prototype are not as smooth as those produced by sls process this is very very important that uh, whenever we compare it to the sla process it is not that smooth okay sls part are sufficiently strong and resistant for many functional test now the uh, in the second slide we can see that the powder material is kept on a delivery pl platform as you see in the uh, video there is a delivery platform is there whenever the object has been created it will go down and uh, uh, supplied to the building area by a roller for each layer a laser traces the corresponding of the part on the surface of the building area by heating the powder until it melts fusing it with a layer below it so in third point the platform containing the part lower one layer thickness and the platform supplying the material elevates providing more material to the system whatever which area we want we can cut that material and after that the platform will go down and we will get the uh, final product then the roller moves the new material to the building platform leveling the surface 
and the process uh, repeats means first has been completed the roller will get uh, back and when the second it will roll down so this complete process will be followed some sls prototype machines use two delivery platform one each side of the building platform for efficiency so the roller can supply material to the building platform in both direction both direction you can provide now the last one is laminated object manufacturing laminated object manufacturing is relatively low cost um, low cost in rapid prototyping technology so in rapid uh, rapid prototyping technology this is the low cost manufacturing process laminating object manufacturing thin slices of material usually adhesively coated paper means it will be coated by this adhesive means one type of gum plastic or metal are successfully glued together to form a 3d shape the process uses two rollers so in this example you can see this process uses two roller and we will uh, use some type of laser which part we want to uh, just cut it will go down by this platform and it will just attach with this uh, previous one the process uses two rollers to control the supply of paper with heat activated glue to building a platform whenever new uh, paper is in position it is flattened and added added to the previously created layer using a heated roller so whenever it will be created uh, we are using some type of heated roller and it will be uh, glued after the completion is uh, means completion of material has been done the shape of the new layer is traced and cut by a blade by a laser when the layer is complete the building platform descends and new paper is supplied when the paper is in position the platform moves back up so the new layer can be glued to the existing stack and the process repeats so whenever uh, this uh, this is the adjustment you can see uh, this is the uh, one type of axis you can say it will move x and y axis uh, means x and y direction and whatever position you want at that position it will just uh, put the laser and after that it will cut and the uh, by the help of this platform it will go down and whenever the second object will be come it will glue with that the previous one and the entire process will be like this so this is all about rapid uh, laminated object manufacturing now we will see about rapid applications so in rapid applications there will be applications in design applications in engineering analysis and planning applications in manufacturing and tooling aerospace industries automotive industries biomedical industries jewelry industries coin industries tableware industries so these are the uh, means uh, area where we use rapid prototyping so uh, these are the areas where generally rapid prototyping as are being used okay now uh, now why is rapid prototyping is important in this fast moving modern days consumer market companies need to develop and introduce new product faster uh, faster to remain competitive so previously we knew that rapid means what rapid means faster so uh, in this fast moving consumer market needs uh, more new things to develop faster manner okay so since faster product development and technology innovations are key to company success rapid prototyping become the most important element of new product development the following objectives are achieved through rapid prototyping so faster new product development okay so why we are using this uh, rapid prototyping the first point is faster new product development whatever you design it will be do in faster manner the so, prototyping plays a vital role in the process of creating successful product because it speeds up the new product development process second point is early stage design con concept validation of the form fit and function of the design third point is final stage product verification against the technical requirement and business objectives as you know that in the crash stage we have already seen this uh, line now the fourth point is it allow functionality testing to test the objectives of the concept and to finalize the specifications now the last point is the prototype gives the end user client customer user participate hand on user experience to get the feedback so whatever testing we want to do in the product we get the feedback according to that 
Now the advantages of rapid prototyping. The first advantage is reduced design and development time. So we have to do, do not have to write all that type of program and uh, um, parameters in this rapid prototyping. Reduce overall product development cost. Third point is elimination of reduction of risk. Fourth point allows functionality testing. So whatever prototyping you will be generated, we can use for testing purpose. Fourth point is improved and increased user involvement. So you can uh, means you can create a CAD model and give it to your to your user to get the get the feedback or get the final feedback. Now last point is ability to evaluate human factor and ergonomics. Okay. Now the disadvantages of rapid prototyping lack of accuracy so you can see there is lack of accuracy is there added initial cost okay though that will be we can have to add initial cost some rapid prototyping process are still expensive and not economical then material properties like surface finish and uh, strength cannot be matched okay so we cannot get accurately the surface finish whatever we get in cnc machines Okay, so requires skilled labor. So in this process, we have to require a skilled labor to operate all this machining purpose. Then the range of material that can be used is uh, limited. Means whatever material we cannot use in 3D um, prototyping, rapid prototyping, because that will be a limited amount of material which we can use in this 3D printing machine. Then overlooking some case future because they cannot be prototyped. And last point is end user confusion customer mistaking it to finish product development misunderstanding of user objectives so there will be some type of confusion will be created in this rapid prototyping so that will be come under this disadvantages now today uh, this is it have a good day thank you